Hi everyone, in this video, I'll show you how you can create your custom design system for your mobile application. So let's get started. And first of all, you should know either you need a design system or not. Okay, so you are building a product and uh, suppose you have already created multiple screens for that product. And uh, now you have noticed that uh, there are a lot of small components that are repeating for multiple screens or uh, multiple sub components. So suppose what you are doing, you are creating a function for that and you are reusing that function in multiple places. And your design system is the exact same thing. So you will be creating a whole module for all these reusable components and uh, you, you will be using them throughout your application to maintain consistency of all the screens and all the components. And if you are creating a product that has multiple reusable components and uh, the product has become larger now, so you know that now you need a complete design system of your own. So now you know what is a design system, but how can we create one? So if you go to official Android documentation about design system, so here you will find that they have mentioned majorly three ways to create your own design system in Android. One is extending material three, like uh, you might already know that you are provided with material two and material three in Android Compose and by default you might be already using them. So option one is extending that. So suppose you are having four typography, H1, H2, H3 and H4 and for your own design system you might need three more, H6, H7, H8 or at whatever. So you can extend your material design system. That is comparatively easy so that is not what we are going to do today. Next is replacing one or more components from material system. Like for these things, you can provide your custom implementation. You can read about this in uh, this uh, documentation, but uh, that is also not what we are doing today. We are going to implement a fully custom design system of our own. And I will be creating the design system of a very famous app named Zomato. And their design system is called as Sushi. So I will try my best to replicate all the components in that. So if you click on that, you can also read how you can implement a fully custom design system of your own. Like you can define your basic color typography and shape and then more things like text selection colors, text field colors, ripple effects and suppose shadows, radius and all those things. So here you can see I have already designed this home page of Zomato. You can also check that out on internet. I tried my best to replicate this. Okay, so first thing what you have to do, you have to go to project view and create your design system as a complete separate module because the main purpose of creating a design system is reusability and uh, you don't want your design system to be restricted to only one module, suppose your app module. And if your product is going to be big, then uh, you will need this design system in multiple modules or even in multiple projects. Like for example, Zomato, you might have observed Zomato and uh, their other product Blinkit is having similar kind of design sense. So that is because their design system Sushi is common. So on your project, you can right click and create a new module that is our Android library. So we can name it design system or you can also name it Sushi or whatever name you want to give to your design system. Let me finish and uh, let me also quickly add all the dependencies. Okay, so as you can see the design system module is here and uh, we can start creating our components inside of this package and let's start understanding the structure of our design system module. Okay, so before starting, if you also want to learn how Zomato have created their new Sushi design system, so you can also check out their blog that is pretty easy to understand and uh, it's a good resource to create your own design system and uh, this video is also a good resource actually. Okay, so one of the ways that I will recommend you to structure your design system is this atomic structure. That means you have to create all your components with layer. Suppose atomic layer where you will be defining your textiles, colors, icons, shadow and all these small small things that will help you to give your whole product a consistent design sense. Uh, I mean suppose if you are using four type of buttons, you don't want to have different kind of font style for all these font four buttons. That can have a bad user experience. You can have different sizes, you can have different colors but uh, I won't recommend to use four or five font families. So all those things you can define in your atomic layer. Here you can see we can define our typography, we can have different sizes of our text and uh, different weight also and uh, also you can define your all the colors that you can use in your product. So let us do that in our clone. So first I will create a package here that will be atomic. And here I can define a new file called colors. 
and I have already defined all the colors that uh, I needed in this Somato clone. So this is the custom colors file that uh, I will use. I have used throughout this application. So what I can do, I will paste this file. So remember, you have to use this file separately and uh, not uh, paste it in this colors file. Why? Because this will have the values of all the colors that I'll be using for these parameters. And uh, that is here. Uh, there you can see. So custom colors and I am passing all the color values here. So instead of passing all the values like this, I have to define them in this colors file. So let me do that quickly. Okay, so all these values are here. Either you can define them with uh, these type of variable name or you can also define what is this color. Like uh, this is white and uh, uh, suppose this is white, this is black. All these you can, you can also define with white, black and uh, color names. Okay. And, uh, and, uh, and, and instead of hard coding them like this, what I can do is I can use them with the same name of variable. And uh, this is showing here error because this themes file is right now in a different module. So what I can do is I can right now copy this file. Let me copy this whole thing. And paste it. Here I will paste it. And uh, right now it is showing all these errors. Let me import. Okay, so what we can do here is we can use asterisk to import all values. And uh, and now these uh, colors are here, custom colors file is here. And uh, one more thing, we have to define this uh, local custom, local composition provider. And uh, let me do that here in this custom colors file. So this is a local composition provider that will help you to access this colors file with the values that we are providing in this theme. So if you are using this uh, Zomato clone theme as the top level parent of your whole application, then you can use uh, this custom theme dot colors and any value that we are providing for all these colors. So that will be accessible throughout your application. So that is the benefit of using this local composition provider <coughs> and uh, and uh, let me also copy this thing okay it is here so we have used this local custom custom colors dot current that means with using this custom theme object we can access this custom colors object and what are the values of this custom color object that we are using that is local to our theme and uh, local to our theme is all these values so we can access all these values local to our theme inside any file that we are using with this. So I hope that is now making sense. And uh, the default value of uh, this local custom colors is these unspecified values. And custom values will be used whatever we are defining while creating our theme file. Okay, so colors is done now. Let us create custom typography. Let us create now. So custom typography. This is the file copy and atomic okay so as you can see i have pasted some font values here because i'm creating a custom typography i have uh, done the same thing with typography as i did with colors i have defined all these values here and let me use them here with the same variable name and and this is custom typography this is accessed here with local composition provider and default values are textile.default. So everything is done with typography. And the next thing is this custom elevation. So here I have done same thing with this custom elevation and custom shape object. And uh, now this custom theme is done. And uh, also, also like all these things, you can also add uh, default values like shadow or custom width, custom height, anything you can pass here that is applicable to your whole application. So now atomic layer is done and uh, now we have to move to next layer. So if you see next layer is molecules layer that will contain all the components that will be actually used inside of our application like the buttons, input box, like the text field or toggle buttons, check boxes and all those things will be our molecules. So let's create them. Let's create the molecules package. It's not necessary that you use this package names. You can also use custom package names like components. Here you can see I have created this molecules package which contain buttons. 
so it have uh, three to four kind of buttons i have created a chips file which contains multiple chips and toggle buttons and uh, if you have observed there are also resources that i am using here so either you can define your resources directly here or often you can create a separate module to maintain all your resources that can be also considered over engineering in some cases but uh, uh, consider that uh, it is also an option i have done it directly here anyway and if you see i have also added preview files but uh, i am not getting any option to see the preview probably because uh, this is a library file i'm not sure if you know we can preview in a library or not then let me know in the comments and uh, let me show you the preview in uh, in the app module here you can see buttons so these are the buttons and uh, next is chips these are the chips and uh, next is toggle buttons so all the toggle buttons that uh, you can use in your application so these are here and our molecular layer is done you will you will have a lot of molecules but uh, for the demonstration only i have created just these three files next is our organisms layer what you can do is you can also combine this organism layer with this molecules layer in your code like here you can see it is defining nav bar rating cards or widgets or whatever things you can combine them in your molecules package and use them with your templates or if you have a lot of organism then you can also have a separate package for them here i have only one file that contain these organisms here you can see this is the top bar this is the search bar bottom bar and uh, this this recommendation toggle so what i can do is i can also put this inside of molecules file file or uh, you can also create a separate package for it let me import it all right our organism layer is done next is templates and uh, this will define the skeleton of uh, all the screens or all the complex complex components that you can use in your application like if you see here so this is a template of uh, what we can say what we can say a product or a restaurant or anything that can be put inside of it this is also a template so you can create a template and put it inside of your templates folder or you can also optionally combine them with your molecules if your project is not that big so for templates i have these two things restaurant labels okay that is molecule layer and uh, this restaurant card are a kind of temp templates because i can use this as a template and i can put any restaurant or any product inside of any screen of my app this is this can have custom shape and uh, custom values according to the screen where i am using them okay and and let me put them inside of a new package i will name it as templates i'll paste it here and uh, this is also restaurant label is also molecules so you can also paste that there so now our small design system is ready and uh, now what you can do is inside your app module you just have to import this implementation project colon design system and sync now also if you want to publish any design system as open source then i have also created a video how you can publish your android open source library so make sure to check that out and now this design system is implemented let me remove all the files i have added there so home items these so this is just a demo file and this should be accessible from my design system okay so where is my design system okay here you, here you can see this is the imp, this is the import from my design system package and i can also access other values like app button as you can also see i have also added uh, a very handy thing that is the prefix for all my design components so whatever component i am creating suppose this is a button that is filled or you can say the button is solid or the button is outlined i am using app as the prefix of all my components app uh, app button filled app add button green large that is actually not a good name you should not consider that okay we can check for any other chips atom molecules chips here you can see app sort chip app assist chip 
and uh, as you can see i have added this app as a prefix so that i can write app and then if i need button then i can add button or if i need chip then i will add chip if i need text field then i will write app text field and then what is the specialty of the text field suppose outline or solid or field so make sure to also have a consistent naming convention for all your components of design system that will be very helpful while you are using them and here you can see i can define any text value so testing and uh, that is the only component required so let me put it here okay there is an internal compilation error file being compiled okay so the problem is this is not present inside of our library and it should uh, fix now and uh, it should probably also have uh, the preview option for our library yeah if you can see inside of our library we have the previews now that is cool okay just some compilation errors finally after thousands of error now this button is visible in the preview and uh, now you also can run the preview in your library so i hope you like this video and uh, now you know how you can actually create your own design system for your application if you found this video helpful then make sure to like and uh, also you can find this repository in the in my github profile link is in the description so make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching